Hi, it's Sherry Strong here, author of Return to Food, The Life-Saving Anti-Diet. Today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite illustrations from the book and explain my little story around. I don't know if you can see it, how well you can see it, but this picture is all about farmers markets and certainly an idyllic version of farmers markets, but nonetheless um, I certainly have a wonderful romantic but also a very practical uh, sensory relationship to farmers markets. When I first started going, I have to admit, I was actually a bit afraid and intimidated because it was just such a different experience to what I'd experienced in supermarket shopping. But it didn't take me long before I started to develop relationships with farmers markets and it wasn't long before it actually was the highlight of my social <laughs> schedule of the week. And the interesting thing is, is that I wasn't alone. In about 2008, I took a camera crew. We were doing a documentary on the lethal recipe. And we interviewed people. I actually went up to people and I interviewed them and asked them how they felt about shopping on a Saturday morning. And literally, I can promise you, I had a queue of people, a lineup of people, 14, 15 people long, and people just kept lining up and wanting to tell me about how amazing their experience was shopping at farmers markets and how it was also the highlight of their social week so I wasn't the only geek, farmers market geek out there and that the food tasted better, um, they had this great feeling of community and loved having relationships and, and you know and actually speaking to the farmer being able to ask questions and the farmers had a great sense of pride of actually their produce going directly to the people who were eating it so there was no middle person and there was a certain joy that they got out of it and so as a consumer you're actually feeling that that appreciation and gratitude from the people who are actually supplying your food of which you can feel grateful for one of my favorite things in season is cherries which the illustration actually has uh, the cherry stand there and um, there's the little girl who um, has her little willies her gum boots on and her dress, very kind of idyllic version of, of a dress, but I think one day I would love to design a range of children's clothes based on the illustrations in the book. I remember too, one time I used to, before I was going to farmer's markets, I went to the Queen Victoria Market in Melbourne to get my groceries on the weekend. And I remember uh, I had a trolley to, because I bought a lot of groceries I couldn't possibly carry by hand. And I remember this, this guy turned to his friend next to me, he goes, oh, that's what I hate about Saturdays, all the trolley people. And I was like really offended. I was like, hmm. <laughs> trolley, I'm, I was a trolley person. Anyway, in the illustration, I've got a girl with her little red wagon, kind of a more, and her, you know, beautiful rattan basket of uh, shop, farmer's market shopping. And that's probably more an idealistic view of the shopping. Today I use big uh, canvas bags to actually carry one on each arm and they're inside them I have bags that are kind of uh, insulated. So for my cold things and frozen things, they go into the insulated bags, into my big canvas bags. I encourage you to check out the farmer's markets. If you're not doing it already, it can be a little intimidating at first, but it's absolutely worth it. The other side to that story, when I was actually filming people at the farmer's market and asking them what, how they felt about shopping on a Saturday morning, I actually went to a supermarket on the same morning, not far away from the uh, Collingwood Children's Farm was where I was actually um, uh, filming that morning and I went to a, a super uh, supermarket you know the regular kind of store that I shopped at for years and I went up to people and I was asking them how they felt about shopping on a Saturday morning and no one wanted to be interviewed let alone tell me what they felt about it and they were stressed don't have time and you could see they were putting things into their um, boots of the car um, that's the trunks of their car, uh, that were highly processed, a lot of refined foods, and you could see that it was something they did that was very dutiful, and there was absolutely no joy in it. I finally got one woman who accepted uh, to be interviewed, and she basically didn't want to offend me, disappoint me, so she agreed to an interview. And she said, I don't normally shop here on the weekends, I usually go to the markets, but it's my grandson's birthday and I'm in a bit of a hurry. And that was the closest that I got to an interview. So if you haven't been to a, a farmer's market, check out how you feel the next time you go to a supermarket. I certainly, I do shopping at um, a, 
a healthy, you know, a more healthy type supermarket to get what I can't get at farmers markets. So I do see them as necessary. But if you want to have a better connection to your food and the people who grow it, and you want to feel good about getting your food on a Saturday morning, check out a farmer's market. It's absolutely worth it. And I hope you check out this illustration in my book, Return to Food, The Life-Changing Anti-Diet.